Coconut by Capano Matlua explores the lives of two black girls growing up in the contemporary suburbs of Johannesburg, South Africa, as they grapple with the complexities of class, race, and gender. Afalu and Fickle, the main characters, find themselves caught in a society that often rejects their presence prompting them to confront their identities amidst the challenges of urban life. The title Coconut draws its symbolism from the fruit that is black on the outside and white on the inside. This metaphor encapsulates a recurring theme in the novel, the pressure faced by young black Africans to assimilate into white society in order to achieve success. Afalu and Fickle both struggle to retain their authentic selves as they navigate post-apartheid South Africa. Afalu hails from a privileged family in Johannesburg's suburbs. They belong to a newly affluent class of black South Africans who reside in predominantly white areas, a circumstance that would have been unthinkable during apartheid. However, Afalu grapples with her own perception of blackness. She often takes her privilege for granted, oblivious to the disparities that exist among her fellow countrymen. Moreover, Afalu feels disconnected from her black heritage. To fit in with the affluent white South Africans, her family has abandoned their cultural roots, leading Afalu to feel adrift between cultures. Consequently, she finds herself without a true sense of belonging to either the white or black communities. Afalu grapples with an intense desire to assimilate into white culture. Despite her privileged upbringing and status, she constantly faces discrimination and mistreatment from her neighbors and classmates. All she yearns for is acceptance within white society but she is consistently reminded of her status as a minority, whose family has risen to the upper echelons of society. This alienates her from those around her, particularly other black Africans who perceive her as pretentious, devoid of culture, and ignorant. On the other hand, Fickle, known as Fix, presents a contrasting character to Afalu. Coming from the townships, Fickle leads a challenging life, taking care of herself and her brother, while struggling to make ends meet. Despite her sass and style, Fickle longs for the comforts that Afalu enjoys. She desires to live a life akin to that of privileged white individuals in Johannesburg, as she is weary of the hardships of poverty. However, Fickle grapples with the realization that attaining wealth comes at the cost of losing her own identity. She finds herself torn between the desire for the comforts of white wealth and the pride she holds for herself and her heritage. Both girls ultimately face the same underlying issue. They confront the pervasive influence of whiteness on their thoughts, self-perception, and aspirations. They are discontented with the promised equality post-apartheid. For Fickle, poverty remains the norm despite the availability of freedom. On the other hand, Afalu's experience demonstrates that even with wealth, discrimination persists as a harsh reality for young black individuals in South Africa.